All right, Shalom. First off and foremost, as always, I want to say, call on La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach you well. And of course, as always, I want to say, Shalom to you, Ankim out there. That's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Okay, so this is going to be another update regarding the prophecy of the MOTB, okay, which is indeed the micro the micro C hip implant, okay, whether you whether you believe it or not, okay, it definitely is the MOTB is the the C hip, all right, it will it is physical, all right, and you know and Esau, you know, he wants to you know put it inside you. OK, you know, that's just, that's part of his, uh, you know, his uh, ultimate goal, you know, it really, you know, that's his cherry on top, you know, regarding his NWO. You know, he wants to, you know, uh, see hip the masses. OK, so it says, uh, oh, slack it. This is on uh, the source and time dot org, you know, and it says uh, this article came out February 19th of this year, 2023. I read the year of hoping that all the prophecies come to pass. And this is a major prophecy that, that you know, that we know is going to come to pass. You know, we've seen it right now, you know. So we're just, you know, waiting for it to be, you know, um, you know, uh, increase, you know, as far as, you know, it becoming the new currency and it becoming, you know, uh, mandatory, you know, for you to have. OK. And and the society. OK. So uh, this is the article headline. It says brain implant startup backed by uh, Bezos and Gates. OK, uh, uh, what's the dude's name? Amazon, Jeff Be uh, Bezos and Bill Gates, the Bill Gates of hell. OK, brain implant startup backed by Bezos and Gates is testing mind controlled computing on humans. OK, mind controlled computing on humans through what? Through a brain implant. All right. And now I'm not going to read the whole article. It's like eight paragraphs. All right. I just want to get I'm going to get a few uh, key uh, paragraphs that I uh, read earlier. All right. So I'm going to read just a few. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to jump around, actually. OK, so uh, it says in a Brooklyn lab stuffed with 3D printers in a makeshift. Pi excuse me. In a Brooklyn lab stuffed with 3D printers and a makeshift pickleball court, employees at a brain interface at a brain interface startup called called Synchron are working on technology designed to transform daily life for people with paralysis. OK, paralysis. All right. <clears throat> paralysis. If you look it up, it says um, a loss of muscle function in one or more muscles. OK, now right here, you know, this is part of Esau's miracles, you know, through technology. OK, this is his uh, miracles on the left hand side by way of technology. OK, you know, he wants to, you know, uh, well, you know, he he thinks that he is the most high. So, he, you know, he has a God complex. OK, so he wants to, you know, uh, package this, see him, you know, you know, package it up perfectly you know, as far as convenience, as far as as far as it being, you know, keys, you know, to your car, to your, your house door. OK, as far as you buying and selling with it, you know, and also too, you know, he want to bring a step further to help people, you know, and to transform, you know, people with certain conditions. OK, so he wants to, you know, ultimately, you know, just um, he wants to. How can I say it? he wants to uh, uh, bring you in? By way of his, you know, by way of his technology, you know, he wants to put this, this that see up inside of you. OK, and real quickly, since I mentioned it, let's get this. All right. And I'll keep going back to the article. This is the book of Revelation 13. And. Verse 14. I'll start at 13 and it says. And he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. 
and that's regarding you know about you know when he um when he let those atomic bombs off upon Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, I believe they're called Fat Boy and Little Man, or Little Man and Fat Boy. Let me just look it up just to, you know, for edification's sake. All right. The names of the bombs. Or the Hiroshima bomb, okay. Yep, it was called Little Boy and, and uh, Fat Man. All right. So those are the bombs that he dropped. Excuse me, those were the atomic bombs that he dropped upon Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that the fire that he make of coming down from heaven, okay? Because, you know, Esau was blessed, you know, with the, you know, with, you know, with the sword, you know? Verse 14, it says, <clears throat> here's the point, and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, okay? So, so this guy, you know, just like I said in the article, all right, he wants to, Put a seed up inside of you, you know, to transform your late to transform your daily life with, with people dealing with with paralysis, okay. And those miracles, you know, are left-handed miracles, like I said earlier, th you know, through his technology, okay. So let's keep going. In the article and it says, uh, the the sink around switch is implanted through the blood vessels to allow people with a no or very limited f physical mobility. To operate technology such as cursors and smart home devices uh, using their mind. So far, the nascent technology has been used on three patients in the U.S. Okay, and four in Australia. All right, so they're already, you know, you know, they already, you know, you know, testing and you know, they're already, you know, uh, um, you know, putting this thing, this that C hip, okay, this this implant inside of people. All right, in Australia, you know, uh, uh, I forgot what they call Australia. Oh yeah, down under in Australia, and over here, the U.S., which is the whore. Okay, now we're gonna uh, just jump down real quick to paragraph. Let me see, paragraph one, two, three. To paragraph. To paragraph seven. All right, and it says. Actually, let me go to paragraph six. Okay, it says in August 2020, the Food and Drug Administration granted Synchron the breakthrough device designation, which is for medical devices that have the potential to provide improved treatment for debil uh, debilitating or life threatening conditions. Okay, the following year, Synchron became the first company to receive an investigational device exemption for, from the FDA to conduct trials of a permanently implantable BCI in human patients, okay? A permanent implantable BCI. And a BCI, if you don't know what that stands for, that stands for brain-computer interface, okay? And this sounds just like, you know, uh, uh, the whole thing with Elon Musk and Neuralink, how they want to merge man with machine, you know? And that, you know, that whole Neuralink, you know, they, um, a couple months back, they actually had a, a presentation about it a couple months back, you know, about how they're going to start testing, you know, on actual humans in, in, uh, in a few months. OK, I believe they said like six months. OK, so this right here is just an, another one of those, you know, um, scenarios. OK, so Esau telling you right in your face that, hey, man, I'm going to chip your ass. OK, you know, so this is all part of. Of Esau's New World Order, okay, and they have guys like Elon Musk, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos, and, and Bill Gates of Hell to be the face of it, okay, because ultimately these guys they don't ultimately call the shots. You have the elites that do that, you know, the elite banker families, you know, they call the shots, all right. They just have you know uh, puppet leaders, all right, the face, you know, to you know to push forth their agenda, okay. So let's go keep going. And it says um, a synchron is, is enrolling patients in an early uh, feast, excuse me, in an early feasib feasibility trial, which aims to show that the technology is safe to put in humans. All right. Now, real quick, I'm just curious. What, what the hell is a, a feasibility trial? OK. 
Let's just look it up. All right, and it says it says a a feasibility study asks whether something can be done. Should we proceed with it? And if so, how? All right. So yeah. So so it's a, basically an experiment. You know, it's basically a, a trial. You know, so uh, a feasibility trial. They're gonna sounds like to me how that they, they're just gonna keep you know uh, uh you know testing you know to test on humans to see how they should you know go forth with this. Okay, and best believe that they're gonna go forth with this, this um, what is it called again? This uh, sacron, you know, implant. Okay. Now uh, let's keep going. It says, uh, which aims to show the to show that the technology is safe to put in humans. That shit ain't safe, man. Okay, that shit is not safe. All right, and one that's one thing too. You know, we weren't born with, you know, a uh, you know, a, a foreign object inside inside our flesh. OK, but but this devil, he wants to put that digital all in you. OK, that, you know, and, and you know, and, you know, and, and, you know, and mess up your whole system. OK, and shit like that. You know, that's why it says, what's that, Rev? Let me get it real quick. Uh, Rev um, 15. Well, I'm going to get in the blue letter real quick because I want to go into the word sore. All right. Rev 15 in verse. Um, or just 16. Yep, Rev, uh, Revelation 16 and verse 2, and it says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and, gri and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. Okay, now real quick, going to the word sore. All right. Strong's G sixteen sixty eight, Helkos, Helkos, Helkos. Okay, and then where Helkos in the Greek, going to it, it says um, a wound, a wound producing a discharge or pus, a sore and ulcer. Damn, that's disgusting, man. You know and that proves that you know he's the devil because here it is, he's gonna try to, you know, push the agenda of this. You know, see him being convenience. You know, being you know, uh, 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 um, being suitable for you, but it's gonna have it's gonna have uh, uh, effects to your body, side effects, just like how the jump shot has side effects. All right, and just like people right now, people are dropping like flies because they you know took that you know that that juicy juice that jump shot. Okay, so how much more when this C hip? You know, is is actually inside. You know, these people. You know, when it becomes a you know an actual thing to, you know, to where you have to get it. You know, to function it to function in society. All right. So let's head back in the article. Okay. And it says, um, six patients will be implanted with a sync with synchrons BCI during the study. Now, P power says six. Okay. And it says, um. Six patients will be implanted with synch excuse me, synchronized BCI during the study. And Chief Commercial Officer Kurt uh, Hagstrom said the company is currently above, excuse me, the, said the company is currently about halfway through. The company has no revenue yet. And a spokesperson says Synchron isn't commenting on how much the procedure will eventually cost. While many competitors have to implant their BCIs through open brain surgery, Synchron relies on a less invasive approach that builds on decades of existing of existing uh, endovascular techniques, the company said. All right, now is the point right there. All right, so yeah, man, you know, hey, the C-hip is here, man. All right, you know, the C-hip is here. As soon as it's going to be, you know, um, made mandatory to the point where you have to, you know, uh, buy and sell with it. It's going to be the new currency, okay, because the paper, the, the greenbacks, are damn near obsolete, you know. Nobody's nobody's purchasing with money anymore like that, okay? Because people are using you know technology to purchase items, you know. People go online to buy items with credit cards, debit cards, not with paper money. People go in stores and whatnot to buy us uh, to buy items with you know their cell phones, okay, or you know a card. All right. 
people don't use money like that. Now, of course, people, you know, here and there, but come on, man. Nobody, you know, nobody is using paper money like that anymore. Okay. So let's get this. All right. Revelation 13. And I get to the point, verse 16. And he calls all. Okay. He's, he's talking about Esau, the, the, uh, the wicked elite Edomites. Okay. The, you know, they have the, they have the world in their hand right now. And being that, you know, the most high, the most high has given them the earth right now, you know, this is what they want to do. Okay. They want to, they want to, you know, uh, uh, not only control the everything in the earth, but control you. All right. They want to put this C hip inside of you, man. Okay. But guess what? If you take that C hip, that's going to be your ass. All right. That's going to be, that's going to grant you a, a, a golden ticket, <laughs> a golden ticket and that lick of fire, man. All right. Which will be, you know, uh, by way of thermonuclear missiles. Okay. And it says, and he calls all right. All man, all. All right. All. All right. Both small and great. But guess what? I'm going to say this. The elect are not going to take that. Okay. The hopeful elect are not going to take that, take that, that C hip. Okay. Because the elect, you know, the hopeful elect, they, they, they serve you how about small shy only. All right. Not, 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 no, uh, no, uh, no mere mortal man. Okay. Not no damn, not the enemy. All right. That's why he says in the book of Romans, let's get that real quick. A uh, book of Romans. Um, let me see. 11 and verse four says, but what saved the answer of the most high unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men, you know, which represents complete who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So you can have, you know, a complete amount of men, elect men, that are not going to conform to, you know, this, uh, 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 this, the, the, this system. Okay. They're not going to, you know, uh, um, cave in and, you know, bow down to Esau. Okay. Just like how, if you back in the time when the book of Daniel, back in the time of Daniel, all right, you had, uh, 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 um, me, uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and which that, you know, those weren't their real names. Those was, those were their, their slave names. Okay. The, you know, they didn't bow down, you know, to Nebuchadnezzar, you know, back in Babylon, back in ancient Babylon. Okay. And right now it's spiritual that we're in Babylon all over again. Okay. So now, you know, the Lord has chosen a complete amount of men, the hopeful elect, the house of David, that's not going to bow down to, you know, uh, um, you know, the, uh, bow down to, you know, uh, Esau, to Esau. Okay. You know, bow down to him, you know, conforming, you know, to his ways. Okay. And the ultimate way that he wants you to bow down to him is what? To get that C hip. Okay. Just like he, uh, had people, you know, bow down to him by taking that, you know, that, that jump shot. Okay. So let's head back to Revelation 13 and verse 16. All right. <clears throat> And it says, both small and great, meaning child or adult, excuse me, child and adult, rich and poor, whether you are here in the so-called free world, okay, or whether you're locked up, okay, uh, rich and poor, right, whether you white collar or blue collar, whether you lo a low class or middle class, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that's literal, Okay, the mark is not sin. The mark is not th that this mark right here is not spiritual. Okay, that's talking about uh, actual mark. Okay, the uh, the uh, the uh, John the Revelator seen them getting getting uh, um, the actual mark. All right, put in their flesh. All right, put in their freaking flesh, man. Okay, and it says or it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. And that no man might buy or sell, say, feed that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's plain, man. OK, because people right now, you can simply go on YouTube and type in RFID implant, you know, payments, you know, or you can type in um, RF, uh, RFID C hipping parties, you know, type in RFID Sweden. You know, people are actually paying with this. Okay, you got even people here in um America, man. 
you know, you got uh, college kids. It was a, a video I watched a couple years back. I believe it was a kid from uh, USC. All right. And he was he was using that, you know, that uh, Merc, the C-hip to uh, unlock his doors and shit, man. You know, so people are using, you know, this technology, but it's not mandatory yet. It's not, you know, uh, uh, it's not full fledged, you know, as far as it being, you know, a uh, full fledged currency yet. OK, but just know that we are in the appointed time where, you know, it, it's going to happen. OK, we're living the last days of the last days. All right. And, and this prophecy is soon going to come to pass. OK. Let's end it off right here. This is the book of uh, Habakkuk 2. I get to the point. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right. The prophecies. OK. The prophecies that we you know, uh, you know, read and break down and, and push videos based upon, you know, hey, man, it's for an appointed time and we're living in this appointed time. OK. Because it's going to come a time when, you know, the uh, the prophecies that we read about is going to be manifest. It's going to it's going to become reality. OK. Prophecy is reality. All right. And it says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry, right, man? And 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 it, and it's beautiful because the elder apostle Hart deemed this year, twenty twenty three, to be the year of hope of hoping that all the prophets come to pass. All right, because because guess what, man? We're waiting. All right, we are waiting, and hoping with all patience and faith that these prophecies come to pass speedily. All right, in which in which it is, man. You know, day the, each day is going is going by quicker. You know, so, hey, man, all we got to do is wait upon the Lord. How about Shmout Shai? And during to the very end, you know, uh, uh, you know, excuse me, I'm going to say this. Uh, 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 keep faith and keep and stay prayed up so that way you may endure to the very end. All right. And just, hey, man, repent in the fast if need be. OK, so with that being said, I just want to say, call her name, La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Dope honor being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well. And Lord, it's where you edify through the sparing power of Yahweh Shai. With that being said, Shalom.